lights, camera. Can't forget the clapboard. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Retired Gamer. I'm your host, AO is the future. And today, I have a couple reviews that I'm just gonna knock out. I've been getting a lot of requests for reactions on, um, on everything from uh, like new K-pop to DeFi protocols all the way to songs from the 90s. So um, this week is going to be really, really exciting. I think it's going to be great. Let me just adjust my mic real fast. And with that being said, I can't forget about it. So my first reaction is going to be for the new John Wick um, Chapter 4 trailer. I guess it's been out for um, quite some time. I haven't even I haven't even even looked for it. Usually with movies, I just wait for them to come out. Um, it's like it's like reading a book. I never ever read the back of a book before I purchase it. I just like will purchase it off of like me being drawn to it. And uh, I I don't know why. I just feel like if I read it, I'm gonna know too much about it going into it, and then I won't want to read it. So. Um, Sometimes trailers, I like that too, but I guess ah, it's all good, right? So here we go. Let me make sure we're good. Yeah, we're good, I bet. So um, with that being said, let me just hit this right here. All right, great. Okay, so so let me just start. So, so this uh, this very first opening shot right here just the the amount of bokeh i can see in the background over here and um what, what bokeh base essentially means it's like um like the depth of field and what your lens is actually creating with that depth of field and um the more shallow the more uh the more bokeh right so um and you can look into this and get the scientific uh determination and definition and all those things if you want to but um from my from this this just looks i always love john wick movies for their lighting and this is the fourth installment of an amazing franchise and it has one of my favorite favorite martial artists and uh actors and donnie yen and um and of course bill skargar right so um man i love this board i like that shot too a second ago that shot is really cool, being able to see them kind of overlooking the city, and everybody's working, doing what they got to do, and you can see we got some audio recording going on, and uh, this is a pretty pretty cool setup. Was that was that Bob Marley? I think so, huh? Yeah, it is. We got some vinyl over there. Man, like I said, I always expect a lot of um intense lighting from John Wick, and um just really remarkable cinematography and choreography. Great shot here. Oh man, this shot reminds me of the girl and um and Belly that end up um that getting that yeah yeah. And then they got Nas on here. Okay, cool, cool. So let me just turn this up a little bit. Let me see. Okay, more. Yo, what did he just shoot him with? It was like a like a mashed potato cannon gun or something. Cause he's like in this like restaurant area, it looks like, or some type of um some type of kitchen. So what is going on here? It's really fire. I love the reflection here. Um man, or that's not even a reflection, it's like this is another hallway here. It looks like a mirror for a second. If you win, don't have your freedom. Let's go. I know I am totally the person that's in the theater that is just like wilding out when like the awesome parts happen. And I'm also the person in the theater that probably is crying if something emotional happens too. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, I already know how it's going to go down. But I, I love this shot. Like once again, the cinematography of the John Wick franchise, um, I would love to just, I would love to one day just sit down with uh with the director of of all these um 
of all these movies and that I have in my mind, right? And just um, kind of have like an AO and director tutorial like uh, moment. And um, John Wick would definitely be a series I would totally choose to do this with. Really? So they're out in a in a desert here, like what looks like a western, right? I don't know, it looked like a western right there. Like this this whole this whole vibe just reminds me of like the old like thirties and forties western films. Um I remember being super young watching those with my grandmother and uh R.I.P. Grammy and um um man, it's, it's, so this this really, really has that kind of uh kind of look and feel to it, especially when you see Keanu right here, uh, or John Wick, I should say, um, riding with the hero shot of uh, of all that, so. <laughs> Yo, the dog. Yo, his dog is in the field. See, some of these shots, like something like this right here, it, we don't have to go out and do all the choreography and stuff, but I, I would like to just, um, just like, I love to like recreate the lighting of this scene. And um, I just love just the, like you, we, we got like almost like this moonlight coming through and this intense red light. And we got a, uh, another, um, uh, looks like a might, might be something bouncing. We might be getting some um some fill over here and light that's getting bounced off. So, um, recreating those lighting effects and and lighting styles was always like one of my favorite parts of going to um going to full sale. And uh, yeah, man, I love that shot. Man, that looks fire. Um, yeah, that looked really, really, really great. And uh, <laughs> what do I, what do I initially think about this? I think that um, is there going to be another one after this, or is this going to be the end? Are my initial thoughts? Um, I I also lo love to see how is is he going to walk away from that whole entire lifestyle at some point and just live on an island with his dog? Um, I, I I think I I would love to see that for him. But um, definitely just the the intense realism of it all. It just looks remarkable, uh, especially the part when the, I think the guy's on a motorcycle when he ended up getting hit. Um, and when he got hit, he ended up flipping, or or maybe kind of threw him in, in front of whatever. But I just know the guy was in the air, and he was like, tch, 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 tch. so he was shooting him as the guy was coming down. That's remarkable, um, and just just uh amazing i i also love the the switch up from the city to the um i don't know it was like some type of de um desert scene look like the sahara <laughs> but uh like i said it reminded me of like those real real old old school super old school western films that uh that really really uh set the tone for like the Clint Eastwood era and Dirty Harry and all that stuff you know what I mean like the good the bad the ugly and all that you know what I mean so um if you are not familiar with those films go and check check them out look at them they're they're classics in their own right and uh extremely outdated in their acting and stuff like that but uh regardless the storyline plot act one act two act three the characters and and all that stuff that's what it's really about for uh for all that right so on um, my next review i'm gonna stop right here so if you if you watch this review and if you enjoyed this and you've seen a trailer that has came out chances are i probably have not seen it yet so uh shoot it over to me let me know you want me to take a look at it and what my thoughts are and, um, and then we'll go from there. So with that being said, 
Um, big shout out to everybody that's following and everybody that's uh, that's uh, subscribed and all that. So uh, nothing but love. Thank you very much. And on that note, I'm signing off. Bye.